Today it's September 13th and in three days it's gonna be my birthday. Yes, I was born in September 16th, 1999 and so I will turn 21 in three days. I want to take this occasion to go through a little bit my last year because, well, if you think about it, I live on the North Hemisphere, so we actually start school in September and September is kind of the start of the year for us, at least for my perception, is kind of the start of the year. And so if my birthday is also in September, it's even more the start of the year. Hey, it's Dario, and as always, this is DVD Finance, a platform where we can share our best tips and tools when it comes to trading, investing, or finance in general. And if you love the subject, of course, please, subscribe to the channel. I want to take this occasion to a little bit talk about my year and talk about what I did and maybe even what I want to do in the future. I don't know why I want to do this video. I took inspiration from an Italian YouTuber. Well, maybe it could be of inspiration for someone. I don't know. Instead of starting in September 2019, actually, I would like to start in August 2019, so a little bit before my birthday. That's simply because that's the period where we bought the first apartment. Well, it's not the first apartment that my family buys because, well, we live in the apartment that we already bought as a family, but it's the first apartment that I personally did all the paperwork for. And it was an amazing uh, opportunity. It was an amazing experience for me uh, because it's quite unique. Not everyone has the chance to actually go through the whole buying process as an 18 years old, as a 19 years old. I was 19 at the time. So it's not common for a Yes, a 19 year old to go through the whole process and it was a very, very good occasion for me to see how it all works and how it works also to invest in an apartment because it's not an apartment where we actually live. It's just an apartment that we bought in order to invest and rent it out. So it's kind of different. You have to calculate the different things. And so, yes, it was an amazing experience for me. I'm very grateful of what I did and I'm very happy of how I did it, and yes, very grateful of the opportunity that my parents managed to give me, actually. Then, also, another thing that happened around, well, actually a little bit before August, but it started to actually grow more uh, around August and September, it's my YouTube channel. The YouTube channel that you are watching now started in the summer of 2019, but it started to grow a little bit more around August, September. Well, also that, it's amazing. Uh, I love this channel. It's the third channel that I opened. I had a first channel when I was around 11, 12 years old. Uh, then I had another channel, uh, this time about trading, that I started, uh, I think, one year or two years ago in Italian. And then I decided to start this channel in English. And it's amazing. We are at 250. 45, I think, subscribers at this point, and it's just amazing. I get some messages some days, uh, not every day, of course, I'm not that big, but I get some messages of people thanking me, of people asking me more questions, and that's just amazing. You know, helping people, and not even helping people, because the, I think the channel helps me a lot more than it helps other people, actually. Because, you know, when, when you have to explain to someone something, you actually need to understand the subject, even even more than you are explaining it. Therefore, it forces me to learn a lot about what I'm talking about. Yes, it's not easy, but it's crazy fun. It's madly fun. I highly recommend uh, to everyone that actually wants to speak about something, speak about a subject, to start a YouTube channel. There is no need for any fancy gear, uh, just your phone, your smartphone, and it's, it's just amazing. I did three channels, and there is a reason why I did three channels, okay? So, uh, and there is a reason why I started in, uh, when I was 11 years old or 12 years old, I don't remember. It was in 2012, so I was 12 probably. So yes, it's just amazing. I hope this channel will grow even more, and I hope I will manage to uh, actually grow this channel to the point where I want. I'm not saying where I want this channel to go, but I want it to go to something very, very amazing. Then, something else that happened in September, well, the start of 
University. I started university in September. Uh, I'm enrolled in a master's degree at UCL, University College London. So I actually study in London. I mainly live in Switzerland. I go there to study. I will stay here till January, by the way. So here in Switzerland, I mean. I study civil engineering. My true passion is a civil engineering. Let's say that civil engineering is here. Economics is here, very, very close, but not quite close as civil engineering. Um, I've been working in the field for, uh, I think, five years now. I started to I, I started to actually study in 2014, but I actually started to work in a company in 2015. So it's five years now that I work in the civil engineering field and that I study in the civil engineering field, and I couldn't be more happy. I'm very, very happy about it. It's It's... Yeah, it's just my passion. Thanks to uni, I also met amazing people. I also met an amazing person in particular who I hope is watching this video. This person actually helped me uh, change a little bit my character, be a little bit more extrovert, which I think uh, might have helped also with my YouTube channel in some, uh, in some ways, but it also helped me a little bit with work and being a little bit more confident in work and expressing my ideas to other people as well. And that's what I did. What I did is uh, actually start partnering with another company even more. I started to partner even more with them, asking them to uh, do new things and proposing myself to do new things. I always had this kind of will to do new things, to propose new stuff, but being a little bit more open and being a little bit more extrovert certainly helped me more to express my ideas and to express my concerns. And this company uh, to thank me for the work because I worked for free. By the way, I get my thank yous through the comments that I read in the YouTube uh, videos that I do for this company on their YouTube channel. And they are a little bit more famous than me. Well, a lot more famous. They are around uh, 115,000 subscribers. So I get personally on my videos, I get between mm, 2,000 to 6,000, sometimes even 20,000 views per video. So uh, I get some more comments, a lot more comments, and many comments are uh, very, very nice. The majority of comments are nice, asking me more questions, asking me to explain things a little bit more in deeper, thanking me for the information and all that, and it's always amazing. But also, I was thanked by this company uh, through the course that I did. It's called a masterclass. It's for technical analysis. So they explain you how technical analysis work and all that. And in the course, they also explain you how to pass, they go through the material to pass the SIAT exam, so the SIAT exam in Italian, that's Società Italiana di Analisi Tecnica, that means Technical Analysis Italian Society. It's a society, it's a club, basically, you have to pay a fee every year. It's recognized by the International Society for Technical Analysis. The IFTA. I did the exam, I passed the exam with 104 out of 120 points, I think, I'm not sure, I will, I will put my certificate here probably, so you can see it, uh, I'm very proud of that. The opportunity that I had to do this course, the course, I don't know how much it costs, but I know it costs around thousands, so not 1,000, not 2,000, thousands, and so I think four or five thousand dollars, something like that, francs or dollars, well, more or less that. But yes, I I'm, I'm very grateful for the opportunity to do this course. More than that, I'm very grateful for the opportunity to do the exam because, well, I did the exam actually because of the virus. If there would have been the virus, I was gonna be in London by that time, so I was not going to be able probably to do the exam. And any other date, I was gonna be in London for the exam. So it was a very nice coincidence if you want, despite the virus and all that, but it was a nice coincidence, at least for me. So I did the exam, I'm very proud of that, so I can call myself a technical analyst and I can uh, actually talk a little bit more about uh, investments with a little bit more confidence because you know it's not that nice to talk about things if you don't actually have anything to back up what you say so well when I talk about things I always go online and research on the topics that I that I talk about or what I do is confronting myself with uh, Alessandro Moretti who is the owner of the company and also one of the uh, most recognized Italian technicians, financial technicians in Italy, recognized also by the IFTA. So 
I always uh, try to confront the topic with him, but now I also have the ability to say, hey, I am a technical analyst, I passed this exam, so something must mean, okay? So I think I can say that I have some kind of knowledge in that. So yes, that's, that's very great. And that sums it up more or less. Now I'm continuing to work with this company. I'm very happy about it. We are doing amazing videos, I think, for um, economics in general, finance in general, not necessarily always investing, but uh, also personal finance and uh, um, savings and all that. Now for next year, I don't know if I want to talk about what I want to do next year. Uh, it's a lot of things. So, well, not a lot of things. I would say three things, three major things. But I'm thinking about if I want to talk about it or not. Well, let's just say that I have big plans, big plans for myself, big plans for the YouTube channel. We will see how much it grows, of course, and then we will see which plans we can put together. But I have great plans. I want to tell you, but I, do, I also don't want to tell you at the same time. Um, let's say you will see in, uh, I, I think in, I think around maybe March, April, should be April, should be April that I would talk about this. One of the best things, one of the, uh, one of my biggest goals uh, for the next year is gonna be in April, finalized in April. Uh, so maybe I will talk about it in April. And then I have also other plans, uh, which will take more years, two, three years to accomplish. And then I have a plan for the YouTube channel, which is gonna take, I don't know, five years maybe, I don't know. It depends on how much the YouTube channel grows. Well, talking about the world, we all know what happened. From September to December, it was okay. I mean, it was normal, not normal world. But then in January, it all started to go downhill. Uh, we had rumors for the third world war, uh, memes about it. And then it all started to go downhill with the virus and all that. I will say, the virus for me was not too, too, too bad. I mean, fortunately in my family, no one got sick, but also from an opportunity perspective, it was okay for me. I mean, I was able to work. I was able to work on my YouTube channel. I was able to work with this company, Italian company, and I was able to actually grow and study even more. So it was not too, too, too bad for me. Of course, for the world, it was a pandemic, so it was certainly not great. We saw how the markets reacted. So I think this sums it up about my last year. So from September, 2019 until September, 2020. But let me know in the comments down below, uh, how was your last year? Uh, maybe you don't have the birthday on September, but uh, let me know. How, how it was, how you went through the whole uh, lockdown period, uh, because I guess it was kind of stressful for almost anyone. Again, not too much for me because I had opportunities, but uh, I guess for some people it was very, very stressful. So let me know down in the comments. And yes, this sums it up. I hope this video helped you in some ways. I don't know how it could help you, but I just wanted to do this video uh, mainly for me and to sum up a little bit my experiences. So yes, this is all I had to say for my last year, from September 2019 till September 2020. Very happy about my year. And yes, the next year is just gonna be even more amazing. So that's all. If you liked the video, please leave it a like. And if you haven't done it already, please subscribe to the channel through the red button down here, which states subscribe. And yes, that's all. I will see you in the next video.